Getting lost on a 17-kilometer hike wasn't ideal, but don't worry, me and Libby still managed to get some fishing in, even though she didn't really uh, necessarily want to. Things started to get real when it became very overgrown and late in the afternoon, we knew we had to get back to the car before dark. So the location I am has a lot of snags, so I'm gonna use this one. It actually floats on top, it's decent weight. So we start off at the car planning to do an 11 kilometer hike. G'day. G'day. So if you didn't get the name of that hike, just leave a comment and I'll let you guys know straight away. But it starts off very beautiful. It's right near water. It's not too cold, not too hot, just the perfect temperature. We actually make our way down to the water and walk along it. I was gonna cast in here, but then I thought there's no point. There's gonna be plenty of opportunities as we go on. I was a little bit wrong by that, but we still did have more opportunities. This was just your normal style hike as well. It wasn't too hard, wasn't too heavy going or anything like that, but it did get very overgrown and we kept going over the track. At certain points, there would be like four different ways to go. So like we really didn't know where to go, but we had Libby's app opened up using all trails and we had my Garmin watch on. So I thought would be completely fine. So we kept um, having to backtrack a little bit, but we made it to this waterfall, absolutely beautiful waterfall um, halfway right, through the hike. We're here at this Waterfall. Has it got a famous name or anything, Luke? Oh, I'm not sure. So as I mentioned before as well, we did 17 kilometers for this hike. It's only meant to be 11. So that's how much extra we did by complete accident. At this stage though, we're probably like three kilometers in and we're having the time of our lives. I was like, okay, beauty, we're up to some water. We're gonna do a little bit of a creek crossing. Lucky it hasn't been raining for a long time. Apparently it can get pretty full through here, but I was like, yep, this is the spot. the moss even though i was excited about whipping out my rod right here we did start to get lost so i was like okay is this the way i'm checking with lib with her app checking with my garmin so we kept backtracking and found the way eventually but that didn't stop me i got the rod out straight away and i was ready to go i had a little selta spinner on there and that proved to probably be the wrong choice of lure to use in the situation uh-oh Snagged, straight away. Just snapped off my lure. <laughs> oh well, that's right there how you lose a lure straight away. Beauty. All right, so the location I am has a lot of snags. So I'm gonna use this one. It actually floats on top. It's decent weight and um, it's a Strike Pro. So let's see how this one goes. Just your typical uni knot, I'm pretty sure it's called. And that's my tag end right there. I'll bite off right now, actually. Bit old school, but bitten off. That's how we do it. So there's that Strike Pro. It floats in the water, and it's about 3.5 grams, maybe three grams. Should be perfect in these conditions, so. So I kept trying and trying. I was casting nonstop, trying to cast in different areas. Didn't really see much life in the water. I was hoping for like a brim or flathead or something like that. All right, well, I'm not having much luck out here. I don't know if it's just because there's no fish, they don't like my lure, or I'm just in a crappy spot, but no luck. Leave a comment on what you reckon I should have done. Should I change my lure again? Should I have done something else? Should I have brought some bait with me? Who knows what I should have done? Leave a comment. I was hoping you're getting another chance to fish later on in the hike. The spots that we uh, kept pulling up to were beautiful. We're at the very bottom right now, but we've got to go up and we end up going right up and have a look at this. I just wanted to cast from here. I know there's no chance of that happening, but it just looked so good. And I was like, damn, I want to be down there. That was after a decent hike. Me and Libby have some water. We chill out for a little bit. I love coffee. So I start making my coffee. Something you guys don't know, I actually have my own coffee brand. I roast coffee, me and my brother roast coffee. And um, I do that as a little side gig as well. And it's great fun. It was all fun and games here. I don't really want to tell you what happened after this, but we tried to get back down, couldn't find our way, found a cave with a table and chair in it for some reason. And I was like, shit, it's getting dark. And both our phones went out of battery as well. No torches either. We ended up getting lost. And now we take the walk of shame. How we got lost, I don't really know. My fault or your fault? Yours. Ridiculous. I can't believe it. Well, we made it back to the car. Are you glad to be in the car? Yeah, so glad. That was so long. That was, was 17 kilometers. 
So guys, 17 kilometers, can you read that? Five hours, three minutes. Wow, 